Hey everyone, John Enner here from School of Trade, taking a look at kind of an interesting little setup here on the Euro. Um, the Euro had a really, really strong, strong rise higher. Uh, and since then, we're, we're really getting kind of the first pullback to the EMA. And along with that, let me hide the execution here. We're getting kind of a double bottom at these lows, a little bit of a trap low, if you will, and then a big old bullish continuation candle. Uh, so seeing a lot of just beautiful possibilities to the upside here, um, just back up to the range highs again. Now, when you get this strong, Strong of a move up like we had here on the euro this morning. Um, typically, when that happens, you, you're waiting for a big pullback, right? There, a lot of people who miss that move up, they're not going to buy way the heck up here or way up here. It's, it's too far away, right? So you've got to get that nice little pullback, and that's what we're seeing right now. We kind of faked out the highs a little bit, faded down to the lows, and we're doing the exact same thing on the low side, faking out the lows and turning right back up. Now, I'm limiting in a little bit farther down. I like limiting in around 25 or so just to get my, my stops and targets in a better place so I can get in with a bigger position. Um, you definitely can look for a buy uh, at 107.34 and just hop in there. The only problem with that is it's a 20 tick stop or so and instead of you know a, a, an 11 tick stop that we've got right now, uh, 12 tick. So it, it just, it's not as good of a position. I'm much happier limiting in since it started pulling back first. Um, you can definitely hop in here, but again, it just kind of reduces your profitability, increases your risk. I'm a bigger fan of getting in with a larger position a little bit farther down. Uh, so we're in five contracts long at 1.0725. Uh, nice little pullback to fill our limit there. Uh, and I'm just looking for price to go right back up to the highs. Uh, now, I say combination pattern because you've got kind of a spike and a possibility of a ledge forming. Normally, when a ledge forms, it's not going to fake break the other side. It's just going to break right through it. So right now, this just kind of looks like consolidation, right? We've got a little bit of consolidation working its way through here, in which case we're fake breaking the lows, meaning that the buyers are going to want to attempt to get back up to these highs. And if that is the case, I'm more than happy to ride along with them. So I'm looking to take 27 ticks out of it up to 752. Uh, now, if we do that, we're taking all, all in, all out there. So that's going to give us 135 ticks on the move up um, and a potential for just a beautiful trade. So just just kind of the way that it's setting up is sort of interesting. This is really the first deep pullback that we've had. It's a double bottom. It's a trap low. Um, it's kind of a flag break that's failing. I mean, just everything is looking so good to the upside here. Uh, we do have news at 8:30, uh, which is right around the corner. Uh, so that may or may not play a part in this, um, and that may be what they're waiting for to get back up to these highs. Alternatively, that may be what they're waiting for to dump this thing lower too and complete that kind of spike and ledge. So it is a little bit. I don't want to say risky because it is a beautiful setup, but just with the news around the corner, you always want to be a little bit careful. So maybe keep the stop a little bit tighter than you normally would, um, that kind of thing. So uh, we'll play it by ear, but we're going into news here in about six or seven minutes or so. Uh, so we'll see if that has any effect on it. But looking at 1.0752 for the target. All right, so we've got news right around the corner here. A couple seconds away, two seconds. Let's see what it wants to do here. Um, yeah, and see, that's kind of what I was looking for. So we've got that big spike up uh, on the news. That fills our targets. Let me cancel my stop here just to be safe in case it comes back. Um, and that's kind of what we were looking for. Uh, now, the news ends up pushing it back up. And, I mean, looking at it now, you could have got another 20 ticks out of it. Um, but, you know, you, you don't know that's going to happen. So, um, you know, keeping the stop tight, looking at only 11 tick stop going into news. Even if it did slip you, it might be 15, 16 ticks. It's, it's, the euro is a pretty liquid market. Um, but the target gets filled. Uh, and, of course, it never slips me in the right direction there, but we've got the target filled at 27, gives us 135 ticks on the trade and, and just a beautiful move up. Now remember, the euro does tick at 1250 a tick, so it's slightly different. Uh, so at 1250 tick, that's actually 1687.50, so it's a big old whopper of a winner, um, and that's what I love seeing. So $1,600, almost $1,700 in the bank, a uh, really good way to start out the morning, that's for sure. So that's going to be the trade for today. If you have any questions about it, feel free to send an email to School of Trade. Don't forget to check out our trial at schooloftrade.com, and as always... We'll catch you next time.